that's called stuff for a Facebook fool. Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Guillen and welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I have Jollibee Foods in front of me. And we actually went there at Jollibee Chicago. So we don't have a Jollibee here in Madison, let alone in the whole Wisconsin. So I actually have two Jollibee in Illinois, one in Chicago and one in Skokie. And we've been there in Skokie for couple or more times and it was our first time to go to the one in Chicago. It's actually a nice place because it's actually like a 1B complex, like a one stop for all Asian foods and stuff because they have Jollibee in there, they have Red Ribbon, they have the Asian grocery in there and it's a huge one and they have like a small uh, uh, fast food Asian uh, place in there so it's really a nice place to go and yeah, actually dine in yesterday and these are the food that we got from yesterday. So I had a big yum yesterday, a halo halo, fries and a drink and we take home all this food. So it's already noon and I'm so hungry. I didn't have breakfast so I can't wait to eat this. Ta -da! My palabok, look at that. So this is the Jalwi palabok. Ooh, it's actually a family size like I think this will feed like four or six people but if you really like uh, this palabok I mean you can eat this by yourself and there's no one that will eat this but me I also got myself a single serve of Jalbi spaghetti yum and then I got peach mango pie and also they had red ribbon in there so I went in and I got this coconut macaroons or macarons. Yeah, no, it's coconut macaroons. So I haven't had this yet, so I'm really excited about this. And we also got a bunch of other stuff. So I'm really hungry and I can't wait to have this. So let's get started. So first, yeah, I like lemon in my palabo. But in the Philippines, we use calamansi. But they don't have it here, so lemon is the answer. So what's in palabok is a glass noodle and a palabok sauce and there's like uh, shrimp in there, slices of boiled eggs and I think this is like a cilantro and like pieces of um, pork meat, like ground pork meat. Mm. Yum. And uh, yeah, I yeah, have chicken. So I'm just gonna mix all of this. So I can incorporate all the, well, maybe not fork. So I want to incorporate all the palab sauce in the noodles. So I get an even sauce. Because if you don't mix it well, you know, you get a bite of something that has too much sauce in it and then get a bite of something that has less sauce in it. And you want it to be like even. Oh, look at that. Look at all that. Ah. For the thumbnail. Boom. So. so now that's, I think that's good. Yeah. Itadakimasu. more lemon juice. You can actually put pepper if you want pepper. Some people like it peppery. I do but I think this is good just by itself. Mm. 
So if you haven't had pula book yet and you're wondering how it tastes like, so it, it's salty, it has that fishy, little like a uh, fishy taste because of the shrimp and then a little sour because of the lemon juice. Mm. Let's have chicken. So that's the jollyby, crispy, juicy, goodness fried chicken. So the best part that I like about fried chicken is the skin. Look at that. Look at that skin. Mm. With the gravy and with the gravy, They say it can feed six people, but in real life, I think just two or three people. I mean, you can, but if you're a big eater, I don't think you can feed this to a six big eater people because it's not. By the way, if you're wondering guys like how long of a drive is Jollibee from Madison to Chicago, it was over two hours, like two hours and ten minutes I think. So it's it's really a long drive just to go to Jollibee. So we don't always go there. And when we go there, we usually order more than we can eat. So we want to take some for home. And you know, you have to make sure that it's worth the drive when you go there, especially if you have to drive for two hours. Try the spaghetti, the Jollibee sweet and sour spaghetti. Mm. I'm such a messy eater. So I just heat all of this in the microwave. Mix it, mix it. Very Filipino taste. 
it's sweet and sour and it has hot dog or winner <laughs> So Jollibee spaghetti is way different from the traditional like Italian spaghetti or the usual American spaghetti that is um, just kind of salty and tangy and sour. That's how you stuff the fish with food. That's how you stuff the fish with food. So for all those people who were watching my video, and comment and commenting thank you I have read a few people who are giving me uh, criticism I mean it's okay but there are people that are just plain rude when they you know it's not even a constructive criticism for me but you know it's okay there are a few people who say that I talk too much and I should just eat and eat but uh, you know I do what I want to do and I do what I feel like I should be doing and, com and comfortable doing. If I want to talk while I'm, while, eat, while I'm eating, then why not? Some people prefer to just, you know, do a video, eat the food, and not say anything. <coughs> and that's part of my mukbang. <coughs> and that's totally fine. But, you know, this is my channel, this is my video. And I do what I feel like I'm comfortable doing. And if I want to talk, I will talk, you know? I always consider and take constructive crit uh, criticism, but there are people out there that are just plain rude and I don't understand. If you don't want to watch my video, then there's a skip button. You can do that anytime, but yeah. Just chill, relax, and enjoy. Life is too short for um, anger and bitterness and hatred. Hmm. That's just it, Jalabi. And also, I don't compare myself to other people. I mean, other people, if they can finish all the food, then it's good. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you can't, then why force yourself? And I'm not a big eater in the first place. Like, even how much hungry I am, when I start eating food, I get full easily. Just me. It's just my body. You know, you have to listen to your body. You, you, you can't force your body to do what your body don't want to do. So, like really I am hungry, but I don't think that I can finish all of this. But maybe I can finish all of this today, but, but not in one city. And that's, that's totally fine. Jalebi chicken is one of the best chicken I had. And I like the gravy. The gravy is good.
もうねうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん、I, can taste, I can taste the mango, I can taste the peach, and the uh, and it has like generous um like sauce or syrup in it and it's not too sweet. That's really good. And I'm gonna try it. Oops. Mm. It smells like coconut. So it's covered in coconut, like shredded coconut meat. And it's and it really smells like coconut. Let's open this up. Uh. Hmm. So it's really moist and it's kind of chewy and sticky and it's not that sweet. It has a perfect, it has the right amount of sugar because I don't really like uh, pastries or any kind of uh, dessert that is really sweet. So this one is just perfect. Oh. But this video is already running for over 20 minutes and I don't want to bore you guys so I think that that's all for today. I just show you my first Jollibee uh, eating video and I like it. I really really like it. One more bite. Before I go. Thank you guys again for watching and if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.